performance coach and I woke up this morning um, thinking about the schedule that I have today and reflecting on what I did yesterday um, which is yesterday I, I woke up in the morning I had a networking meeting where I had my um, speaking spot for 10 minutes in front of about uh, 22 lovely ladies uh, business owners and entrepreneurs and then I went to work I did an hour and a half of interview and um, taping and recording for uh, a master class with Tildy uh, for Womanars and after that I had a radio interview uh, with Dr. Diane who has a radio station um, up in Northern California and after that I was in a uh, mastermind meeting with my coach Matt Browning so it was constant work all day um, in between I was seeing patients and this morning I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going to another networking meeting pretty soon, uh, meeting with several business owners in, in southern pa Pasadena. Then I have my full day of work, and then in the evening, I'm flying out to Phoenix to attend my, mass, um, my mentor, Sharon Lecter's uh, digital marketing event tomorrow. I, I will be flying out late tonight, attend the event all day tomorrow, and then coming back tomorrow night, so I will be home with the kids for the weekend. Um, so have you ever wondered that you know you have too much to do? Do you, do you think you have too much to do? Because when I think about it, it almost seems like I have a lot to do. But on the other hand, have you ever thought of people who may not have a lot to do? I'm talking about the people who may not have a job. I'm talking about people who may who may have felt like they lost their purpose in life, um, they lost their drive in life. We're talking about the people who show up to work and just go through the motion. Uh, and, and they think that, that that's good enough. Versus some, some of us who, who wake up in the morning, got all pumped up, we're ready to go to work, we know we're gonna make a difference, we enjoy the challenges at work, not because we like challenges, it's just because it adds spices in our life. It adds spices to our business. And it certainly, for me, it certainly brings a lot of joy because it's it, it just like when you're taking a trip, right? Let's say you're taking a boat trip out um, in the ocean and it's all calm and everything. That's a little bit boring. But if you can have some wave and if you can see some flying fish, um, when you see something different, it, it makes it more interesting. So. If you think that you have a lot to do in your life, whether it's in your personal life or whether it's in your business life, sometimes just take a moment and reflect and, and, and think that you are so blessed to have things to do in your life. You're not the one stuck at home having nothing to do, having maybe not having a, a good income or, or just feeling bored all the time. Because those people, they actually have more challenges than us, than, than us busy people. When you don't have much to do, when you lose that drive, when you lose that passion, it makes life very difficult. And, and I don't want to be negative so, so early in the morning, um, but I want us to count our blessings on what we're able to do with our life. We, we have beautiful family, we have children that sometimes suck the, <laughs> suck the life out of us depending on what activity they have. Um, but that, that's what makes life meaningful. So if, if you happen to be someone who or, already lost that passion maybe, you're just looking forward to retirement, you may want to rethink that. You know, how do I add more passion to my life? How do I make my workday more interesting? How can I surprise somebody today? Because if you're just showing up to work and do the, the, the regular thing, th there's no surprises, there's no fun. But think about how you may be able to surprise somebody today. <clears throat> I'm pretty famous for telling my staff, drop everything, we're going to lunch, right? It, it's, it's not a scheduled lunch, it's not a meeting. We're just gonna, oh, you know, let's go eat this today. And then I just I literally make them drop everything, close the office and take off for lunch. And that besides, you know, maybe sending, sending flowers to them on Valentine's Day, you know, Mother's Day is coming up, Father's Day is coming up. We're gonna do more fun things. I, I will do more fun things for them. Because yes, sometimes 
work gets boring if it's the same thing over and over and over again. So count your blessings if you're busy. Consider how lucky you are compared to somebody else who may not have something to look forward to, something to work for, um, something to strive for. When we are happy with what we have and we striving to be better, I think that's where we're going to reach happiness. And by happiness, I mean feeling fulfilled. You know, you, you don't want to just go through your work looking forward to retirement. Yesterday at my, at my um, speech at the women's group, I asked the question, um, if any of you in the room know what your mission in life is? And one person raised her hand and she said, yes, to retire, right? And you know, as far as I'm concerned, she wasn't even that old, but usually in the networking group, uh, she's the one that has something to complain about put it put it that way and um, and sometimes what I what I want to remind her is you know count your blessing you're, you're lucky to be busy so one week you be complaining that you're too busy and another week you be complaining you don't have enough work how about stop the complaining and look for ways to increase work where it can be more steady I'm not saying that it's easy Okay, everything takes work. My, my coach, uh, Brendan Bouchard, say, don't be surprised when opportunity knocks, work will answer. It's not fun, it's gonna be work when opportunity knocks for you. So look forward to work, make work meaningful, make work fun. Uh, if you're bored at work, if you lose that drive, that passion, reach out and talk to somebody. Talk to someone who is cheerful about their work. Find out what makes them so happy because sometimes what makes that person happy may not be a lot it's just that they have a different attitude and a different outlook in life you know they there's a saying that um, the happiest people in life are not the one that have the most they the one that make the most out of what they have and I think for all of us we can adopt that and we can think about how lucky we are having our work having our clients, having our family, having our health. There's so many things to feel blessed about, to feel grateful about. And then you go out there and you make a difference in somebody's life one person at a time. You don't have to affect the masses. There are other people who that's, that's their goal, but for me, or maybe for you, just help one person at a time. Just touch one life at a time. Just make one person smile at a time because all of that will add up for you to make your day and your life more meaningful. So I hope you're gonna have a great day today. Uh, stay busy, don't complain that you're too busy. If you're too busy, maybe you need to restructure your schedule. Maybe you need to delegate. Maybe you need to leverage other people's time and effort and money. And if you need to hear some ideas about how you would do that, just go ahead and reach out and connect with me. I would love to do that. Um, would love to help you with that. Have a great day. Make it productive. Make it meaningful. And stop complaining. Okay? We'll talk to you later.